What's going on, guys? I hear you TCU fans out there. I hear you. We're going to be doing a TCU Horned Frog football makeup look for you, all y'all TCU fans out there. I hear you. Which is really awesome because I love purple. So, let's get started. Alright, always... Hey, hey, always a uh, face and eye primer. So I'm going to put on my face primer here. Pea size amount. That's all you need. Pea size amount. And this is going to fill all over your face. We do this first so we can let that sink in while we work on our eye makeup. It's always, always good to put on a good primer so that we can have that barrier against our skin and our makeup so it doesn't sink into our pores and make them all nice and dirty alright it's good to let our face primer sit about five minutes that's why I was uh, put it on first alright after face primer eye primer best stuff in the whole wide world Alright, just a little pin drop. That's all you need, and it's going to cover both of your eyes. And I love this feeling. It's so cool. And it's like, it's like concealer. It's like the feeling of concealer. Which is really great, because I know a lot of people use a concealer as their eye primer. Oh, this stuff right here. Already there for you. Hello, hello. How's it going? Our eye primer. So for this TCU Horn Frogs inspired look, we're going to be using our palettes. And I got me using three of them. Guys, you get these a set of three of these for like $75 or something versus $49 for each of these. You do the math. All right. Uh, typically, like when I was looking up, you know, football inspired makeup looks, it was all about our pigments. Well, guess what? We don't have those pigments anymore. Um, they are all retired to that day. And so I scrounged around and I was like, yeah, I can do this with my palette. So that's what we're going for. I am using palette 5, which is that rainbow unicorn palette. I'm using palette 2, which is our silvers. And I am using palette 3, which is our pinks and purples. So I'm pretty much going to be using a color from each of our palettes. And um, the first thing we are going to start out with is we're going to start out with palette 3. And we're going to go in with the lighter purple color, which is Flippant. Now, Flippant is a satin color. You could, can tell this one is cheeky as a glitter, but this one is a satin. It just has a different feel to it. I actually love the satin pressed powders for some reason. It's on par with... I got dog hair on my finger. It's on par with um, mattes, but it's got like a hint of a sheen to it versus having it be glittery and being all over your face. So I'm going with Flippant. I'm using my crease brush because this is going to be my crease color. Transition color, whatever you want. Dust it off. And like with me, I have those hooded eyes, so I'm going to start right above. And that's where I'm going to go. I hear my little boy. He sounds like he got hurt. Oh, no. We have to call him in here in a minute. So I'm just doing that right there, and I'm going pretty close to my brow. And I did it again. I went backwards again. Oh, well. That's okay. We're going to draw this seven on here. And I'm just tapping, really. To get this first initial thing on here, I'm just tapping on. And then I'll go behind that with a blending brush of some sort, the Dux brush or the, our new blending brush, which I still I need to try that someday. Alright, so it's just tapping on, tapping on. Alright, let's go do that other eye and then we go do our eyebrows again. <laughs> Alright, again. Right above. I always go above because of my hood. That way you guys can see the color and to help bring lift my eyes up. Just tap, tap, tap it on. Oh goodness. He did not want to take a nap today. He is grumpy. All my kids are grumpy and they all got allergy problems. Ugh. It's been fun. It's been fun. Alright. Do just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Alright. 
All right, let's go do our eyebrows. I always forget those. Normally, I do those ahead of time, but not today. And I'm going to get, love this palette, brow palette, bra obsession palette. It's got all, these are numbered. My favorite brush, the Artist Brow Brush. So I'm using the angle side, and I'm going into this first powder. We have two powders and two cream highlights. So I'm going to go in that number one, that lighter powder. And this is just to fill in any sparse areas we may have on your eyebrows. I got a little bit going on here towards the end. And I'm just kind of keeping in with the shape of my eyebrows. I don't want to try not to go out. Going, I like having the natural shape of the eyebrow. So I just go lightly and just fill in those sparse areas. Alright, it sounds like he's okay now. Good. Poor little guy. Alright, go ahead and doing on that other eyebrow again. This one does need a little more help and it like, you know, I have like a good side and a bad side. Well, I have like a good side for my eyebrow, which is this side, and then a bad side of my eyebrow. But I have a this is my good side for my eyelashes, and this is like my bad side for my eyelashes. It is hilarious. And so this one, just feel it in. But that's the beauty of this palette. It is going to help make it look like its sister. Doesn't have to be twins, gotta just look like it's sister, even though this one party's harder than this one. <laughs> Alright, and again, just lightly filling in any gaps that may be going on here. And this also helps, like, if you, because you know how your eyebrows, you know, it starts here. This is where your eyebrow starts, and your art should be, like, right here. And then the end of your eyebrow should be like right there. This also is going to help to extend those eyebrows in case you need that. Which on this case I do for this side. My other side is pretty good. Another thing that can help you with that is, um, is our brow pencil. It's got a very fine tip, so you're able to just, you know, just trace along and to kind of fill it in as well. But I love this palette. Alright, now I'm going in with the darker color, number two. And this one I kind of start, like, at my arch, just lightly. Since this is a little bit darker, I just lightly fill that. Because I like to do it just a little bit darker. And, but you can also use the darker to kind of trace underneath and kind of go on top of your eyebrow as well. If you need that to be a little more, if you like a little more defined brow, you can absolutely trace on top of your eyebrow. This is how I like my eyebrows. And again, bloop, bloop, bloop. Alright, let's do that other side. And I do both brush, I do both sides. And then tap it off. Again, right here. Boop, boop, boop. Just very lightly. Very lightly. Get that on there. And again, I just go right underneath my brow. Just try to trace it just a little bit. See, I want a little bit too much pressure on that side, but that's okay. It will just keep blending it out and I'll do a little bit at the top to try to help help um do that I'll just wipe this on my hand real quick that way I can blend it in blend it all together Alright, okay. So now I'm going to go with, a hi with the highlight. I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use, uh, yeah, I'll stick with the pink one. And I'm going to use the flat side of that liner shader brush. We have the angle side and the flat side. <clears throat> and I just, I just go on one side, I use one side for one color, and then I'll flip it over and do the other side with this one. And what I like to do is I like to point this brush up when I have that, and I like to trace right under my eyebrow. 
to try to clean up and define my brow even more. This is going to help clean up any powders that there might be left over and to hide any little hairs that ain't ready to be plucked yet that are not ain't. Woo! Are not ready to be plucked yet. It'll help clean up some of that powder. It'll help highlight your eyebrow. I mean, it does a lot of things. I need to, like, pluck that area right there. Alright. And then with the rest of that on there, I just kind of push it down. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to do my other eye. So I don't do too much highlighting. Again, simply because of my hooded eyes that I've learned. I've learned over the past couple of weeks. I don't need a whole bunch of highlighting under my eyebrows. And it's because of my hood. You do it gently right under just a little bit. And then I'm just going to bring it down just a little. Right there. And there it just kind of helps. I kind of push up those hairs. <laughs> but it helps to clean up and to highlight the brow when I'm at a distance. See? Ooh, ooh. Okay, and as always, and I've been noticing I keep skipping this step, is our wax. We want to seal in those your um, the powder you just put on, also with your, to keep your hairs in place, your eyebrow hairs. Again, this is just a light hand putting that wax on, because the wax kind of does have a tint to it as well, like that I've noticed, so I just lightly... And I just lightly, lightly go over those hairs and keep those hairs in place. And then just brush those up. Okay. Now back to our eyes. We got those eyebrows done. Okay, back. Back, back, back. So, like I said, pretty much I'm using one color out of each of these palettes. I just put flim Flippant as my um, transition above my crease color there. Now for the gray or silver of TCU, I'm going to use Romantic, which is again, it's another satin color in palette 2. And this one, I'm going to get my liner shader brush. I'm going to use that liner side. <coughs> Excuse me. This one, I'm just going to stipple it in there. That's all you got to do. It takes up a lot. And I just I dust it off. This one I'm going to pat on all over my eyelid here. Pat, pat, pat. All over the eyelid. And get in that corner too. Put a little highlight in that corner. Alright. Get a little bit more. I want this to be a little bit more noticeable. Especially once we start blending colors. Boom, baby. All right. Go to the other eye. Pat it on. This is definitely a... Uh, Gorgeous colors going on on my face today. I love me some purple. It's my favorite color. It's Victoria's due. Well, she's so ecstatic that we both like the same colors. It's adorable. Alright, Pat. Get that corner. And I'm just doing to bring it just a little bit down. On both eyes as well. Alright. A little bit more. I love this eye primer. It brings out these colors so much more than what Mary, my old Mary Kay eye primer was doing. Holy Toledo! That is a silver gray. <laughs> okay, and for the outer corner, I'm gonna darken up my outer corner with bum ba da bum. Fearless out of this gorgeous rainbow. Fearless is dark purple iridescent color. 
love, love, love this. I'm going to take my angle sponge brush using the angle side of my, of the brush. And I'm just kind of stippling again. Just stipple, stipple, stipple. And then dust it off. This is going to be right at the corner. And I'm just going to kind of shade, highlight, or sh smoke. There we go, highlight. Smoke out my outer corner there. That's all I'm focusing on. And I'm actually going above... I kind of where I put flimp it, flimp it, oh, these allergies, I cannot say that word today. Um, where I put that lighter purple color, I'm just going right on top of that, right on the outer side of that color. Go ahead, do this other eye. And I kind of like draw, kind of get where my, um, my lash line is to try to get that angle, to help out with that angle to get like that caddy. Eye, and I'm gonna help with the cleaning up process as well, so I know where to clean up with my um, with my concealer, and just bringing that up on top. Get that anger, angle, anger. No anger here today. No, no. All right. Now we blend all of this. I know I look crazy. <laughs> now I just blend it and I just go towards the corner and just blend up blending up blend all of that especially right here where all three colors meet just blending that up and over up and over probably put a put a matte highlighter to help with this blending process. I'm just going to blend this and then I'll go get a matte color and put it right under my eyebrow. So again, let's do this side. Just blend up. Blend, blend. Just right there. Get those colors. More blended than this one. Let's blend some more. Okay, let me find a mat that's going to help out. Not that one. Uh, we can do a little bit of determined. Determined is about this purple, light purple, gray purple. It is a matte color, so I'm just going to get the angle side of that ankle and sponge brush and this is going to help a lot more with that blending on this side right here so just barely under there and we'll just do it on here just so we can be even so we added a new color got to blend it in uh -huh. there we go that looks a lot better All right, boom shakalaka. All right, what? I forgot my rose water. Oh well, I'll be back. Don't leave. I'm coming back. Rose water for the win. All right, as always, love, love, love me some rose water. Not only does it tone my skin, lessens the redness of my skin, gets rid of sunburns. But it makes for great to use on spraying our brushes to make eyeliners. So I'm going to spray my brush. I'm actually going to spray my palette too. So I'm going back to palette number three. And I'm getting irate. And I'm making it black. Making a black eyeliner for this look today. For all my horn frogged fans out there. Alright, I love using this brush because look look how much thinner this line is compared to, where did it go? This line. Thin, thin, thin. I love this because I can just build on top of it. If I want a thicker line eyeliner, I can do a thicker eyeliner. But today, I want this to be super thin. I 
I'm staying really close to my lash line here really close I don't know do you if you do when you guys put on eyeliner do you ever feel like you have to hold your breath that's what I do Especially when you're like trying to go really slow. So you're not messed up. <laughs> yeah, that's me. And I always get out of breath. I feel like I'm out of breath. Okay, let's do this eye. black eyeliner for this gorgeous purples and grays all right all right mascara time budding epic mascara and our 3d fiber or i can always say r the 3d fiber lash lash plus mascara love 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 these two together and for getting the double threat i've been still using that crazy epic awesome steam lash serum to enhance and fortify my lashes giving them that extra volume so I'm just putting on epic because I love putting on epic for my base of my mascara for my for my 3d fiber lashes because it just it curls it automatically you don't have to worry about a curler Woohoo! and it helps with separating because of the two different the two different bristles on this applicator. There's long ones and short ones. So that's what gives us this great separation. Not only that, but it gives this rich, rich, deep color as well. Oh my God, I'm in love. Look at that. Oh, and this is just one coat. Oh. Now imagine this with the 3D fibers. Oh my gosh. Now normally I would bring down the color of the eyeshadow on my lash lower lash line, but not today. Is because I want to keep my eye looking a little bit brighter and bigger and having those dark deeper dark purples because flippin is pretty dark even though it is it's in a light it looks lighter but I want to keep my eye looking a lot brighter today especially having this <coughs> excuse me especially having romantic on here on my on my whole lid just makes it a brighter day So I always do Epic first because I want to let Epic dry before I apply the 3D Fiber Lashes. Got to do a little bit more work on this side because first, like I was saying, on one side my lashes are crazy long. But then on this side they're like meh. They're not going to be as long. You got to work a little bit harder. I'm like, gee, thanks. Appreciate it. And do those bottoms.
hey, these colors are going to match my shirt. I'm wearing a gray shirt that has some, yeah, it's some pink on it. But, you know, you know, it's okay. All right, 3D fibers. We're going to do our gel first and then our fibers. And a good trick <coughs> before <coughs> I start. Blue boy, hey, it's okay. Just a car going by. So I like to get these ready by opening them both up. And then I twist, twist, twist out the gel. And then I put this on like I would normal mascara from, you know, the base to tip. And I'm going to tell you it's going to feel weird if you have not done this before, like you're not putting anything on, but trust me, you are. You are. All right, and with our three, with the three D fibers, you want to do one eye at a time. So whenever, what I mean by that is, you want to do the gel, and then you want to do the fiber, the fiber lashes. And these are nylon, just bloop. And you can see how they're loosey loosey, loosey goosey. So I make a fist and just roll them up, roll them, roll them, roll them. And with the fibers, you want to put these on from mid lash and up. For me, I focus more on the tips. That way I know for sure that they are not going to be falling down in my eyes. Because that can happen. Trust me, I've done it before. It is no bueno. No fun. But by doing that, I know that for sure they're not going to fall down. At least not as much. Alright, so I'm going to let those fibers dry, and I'm going to move on to the next eye. Uh, my kids are trying to come in. <laughs> but I'll lock the door. Shh. Right, I'm going to do the next eye now with the gel. Again, with this one, since I'm doing it, it's the newer eye. I haven't put anything else on except our Epic. We're going to put this on just like normal mascara. Base to tip. i help this one out just a little bit more. All right, all right. All right, and get those fibers out. I know I just put it in there and I just rolled them, but you know what? I'm going to roll them again because I put them right back in that tube. They become loosey gooseys again. All right. Just on those tips. Tip, tip, tips. Tip, tip, tips. Also finding that when putting them on the tips, it helps them uh, curl even more. So then what, um, with the help of Epic there, that's just what I found out. You can just play around with it. Absolutely play, play around with it. See how you like it. If you want a little more, a little less, that's just how I like it. All right, and then we're going to hit those fibers up with that gel. Seal them out. Now, like anything, oh God, everything is so buildable with like I can put on more fibers, I just put on another layer of gel and another layer of fibers. If I do that though, whenever I am done applying as many layers as I am, I need to go back and seal those lashes on with the gel. And with this one, as your last round, you want to focus on where you put those fibers. So I put those fibers on my tip, so I'm going to put this on my tip because if I dragged it down, to the base, then I'm dragging those fibers down, and I don't want to do that. I'm also putting this on the bottom over top of Epic because this is going to make everything water resistant. Alright, let's do this other. I get a little bit more gel. And again, I not do that. <laughs> Get that off. I'll go back there in just a minute. Put this on the tips of my lashes.
Oh, now they're playing hide and go seek. You can hear them running around. Ugh. Hope they don't wake up my other one. Hope they don't wake up my other napper. Get those corners. Those are always my little stragglers. Alright, you see what I mean though? You see? I don't have that. My eyes look so much bigger without having my shadow, my eye, my eye shadow down there. Mm. And then just look at this awesomeness. See, this side needs a little bit more help than this side. But that's okay. I still love it. I still love you, side. You're still my good side. Do just a little bit more gel. I do have to say though, I'm gonna have to stop with the serum or at least go not put it on so much on my lashes because they're getting too long. They're hitting my glasses. Alright, to fix that little spot that I just did, I'm gonna take my blending brush, deluxe brush, and just go blend, blend. Da da da, -da and it's gone. Alright, alright. Face. Oh, I love my face. This is my favorite part. Other than putting the eyes on, this is my favorite part. Because the girls think it's hilarious. Call me Dot Girl. Because of this. Clear out that dropper. Always remember to clear out that dropper. Bleep. And then shake it up for about a good 30 seconds. Do a little jig if you need to. Shake, 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 Sonora, or sing a song. Work, 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 Sonora. Work it all the time. And that's all the lyrics I know, that song. Alright, so that's good. So I'm going to take my foundation, liquid foundation brush, and get some of this awesome liquid gold Photoshop in a bottle. I'm going to do one, two, three drops. You can do as little as two or as many as five with this foundation, liquid foundation. It is a, it is a liquid that dries, dries to a powder finish and so I just dot it all over my face. And you can see this is why my kids call me Dot Girl because I have dots all over my face and they think it's hilarious. And I love making my kids laugh. This is what brings happiness in my heart. I doubt it. And then after you dot it, we're going to swirl it. Do them little swirls, little circles. And we're going to buff it into our face. This is why we buff it into our face because there are something cool inside of it called lit optical diffusers that helps and brings out our beautiful natural beauty while giving us that great flawless finish. And you can definitely go from a light coverage to a medium almost about full coverage. I do three dots because I like to show a little bit of my freckles here. Because I love my freckles. I earned my freckles. Whoops. We'll fix that up here in a minute. We'll keep on swirling. Keep on swirling. Anyway, we buff it. We want to buff it into our skin rather than going like this. We want to buff it in because that's how those little optical diffusers work on our skin. Sinks into all of our fine pores, smooths out those fine lines and wrinkles to let us have that flawless finish. Give us that flawless look, and there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. You see a little bit of freckles, but not a lot. But my face looks complete. It looks pretty awesome. I love this stuff. It is really awesome. I'm going to fix this corner right here. Because we got some stuff on it. 
All right, <clears throat> and now we are going to hit that up with boop, concealer, Skin Perfecting Concealer in the color Scarlet. I this is the lightest color. My my foundation is Organza, and I use Scarlet not only to hide my blemishes, my dark circles. But it's also to help with highlighting and to clean up my makeup lines here so I can get a more precise line going on to give that full cat eye without having to work, you know, have stick and tape on my face and having to rip the tape off and potentially have my skin hurt. But hey, if you like doing the tape, I have nothing against that. That's just my forte. So I'm doing little V's here under my eyes. We want to do the V and not just focus on right here because that's going to help draw the attention away. Draw it away from any dark bag circles and to brighten. It's also going to brighten up our eyes as well. So there's so many things that concealer does and I love concealer. So now I'm taking this up even more and just cleaning up that line right there. You see that? You see what I did there? They cleaned up my line, so now I have that nice, beautiful, sharp line uh, for my eyeshadow. All while hiding my bags and brightening up my eyeballs. So now that's also going to brighten up my eyeballs. My eyeballs. It's going to brighten up my eyes and make them look even bigger and make them pop out even more. So this is like one so you're doing killing two birds with one stone. You're brightening up your eyes. You're, well, really three. Brightening up your eyes. Hiding up those bags. I know everyone, every mama's, this is every mama's best friend. Hello. And now I'm just cleaning up my sides of my makeup here. Probably just need a little bit more for cleaning it up. And then I'm going to go over this with my foundation brush here in a minute. So there, see, I'm brightening up my eyes. I just cleaned up the sides of my makeup. And now I'm going to use it to highlight my face. I go down the bridge of my nose. Try to make a straight line. <laughs> Boop. And then right on my Cupid's bow, kind of make a, like a V. And then I go on my chinny chin chin. Chin 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 true. Oh, that's chim chimney. <laughs> and there. I'll do a little bit on my forehead too. Just kind of anywhere that light naturally hits. You kind of like where you want to highlight. So that's where I put my, I put the concealer. <clears throat> so now, it's so I don't look like this. I'm going back with to my Liquid Foundation brush. If you have blending brushes, that too, you can absolutely use those. I don't have those, so I'm using my Liquid Foundation brush. And I'm just going over all the areas that I put concealer and just smoothing, ooh, excuse me, smoothing out all of those edges to make it blend in a little more so you're not seeing that, hey, look, she's wearing concealer. She doesn't know how to blend her makeup really properly. Well, now I do. Now I know. So I'm just going over those edges. And again, everywhere that I put the concealer, just go over those with the liquid foundation brush or your blending buds if you happen to use those two. I mean, everywhere. So I just went on my cupid's bow and I'll do my chin. I did my nose. I'm going to do my other, my last eye over here. I think the hardest one is getting under the eye. But. You know, I'll make it do. Just highlight it even more. And then right over here, I'll put a little bit there. Always look like I have a dip right here. Or I miss skin. Come on, cover up. Thank you. Alright, so now. We are going to add some dimension and color with a bronzer and our cool, lovely, limited edition blushes. Metallics are in for fall. You need to get on the bandwagon of the customer kudos, you guys. Because there's so many cool, awesome 
excuse me, awesome metallic colors going on with her, and metallics are in this fall. So I'm taking my blusher brush and my bronzer Hermosa, and this one I'm going to use as a definition, so I'm going to define my cheekbones here. So I just go up, I kind of angle it down, upside down, so I have the, the slanted tip point going up here, and that's where I'm defining my cheeks. And it's kind of interesting, it's kind of, <laughs> the way my structure, bone structure is, I can see like, okay, this is where I, I need to go for contouring, and that's where you usually contour is kind of right below your cheekbones there. <laughs> but if you don't have it like I do, just suck in your, your cheek. Right there is where you need to go. And then over here on this side. And then just blend it all up. Blend sideways into the hairline. Yes, I know. Okay, so this gorgeous metallic blush has got like a gold metallic to it. Iridescent sheen. So wherever I hit the light, like you can see kind of like right here, I'm glowing right here. Well, guess what? When I put this blush on, it's going to glow even more. <sighs> So this I'm going to put on the apples of my cheeks, you smile, big smile, and that's where I'm going to start, so I'm going to just dab, dab, dab up those cheeks, and again, right here, dab. So yes, I did not go in back into my blush, that's how much product I picked up on with this humongous thing, and then just sweep it back, sweep, 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 sweep it back. Sweep, sweep, sweep. And now, uh, I kind of shimmer with it. Got a gold to it. Awesome sauce. Okay, last but not least, and because this is always my favorite part, is the lips. So, for all you TCU fans out there, I just search high and low for the greatest lip gloss ever. And it's this one right here. It is a dark gray, almost looks like a brown. It's also a great color to use for the fall time, you guys. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And I'm going to pair it up with Pouty Lip Liner. This is a mauve color. And I'm going to just do this because if you if you like to have something outlined on your lips to keep your, it's also, it helps to keep the color, whatever, lip gloss, lipstick, liquid lipstick, um, lip stains, uh, if, you, if you have, you know, use um, lip scents. That, that too have a have a lip liner that's gonna help keep the color in from from um, what's it called from from going in you know sinking in and going dragging outside of your lip line so oh there's still a film on this I <laughs> never took it off when I bought this all right we're not gonna do that one so for this just lining my lips and I want to color it to that way my lip gloss has something to stick on. You know how a little bit longer sting power? When I say a little bit, I mean like a little bit. Alright, and then... If you have a hard time trying to get this Cupid's bow, draw a tr draw an X on the outline. It will really, really help you. So much. Really does. See? It helps me with that. And although it looks like I have no color here, but that's just the lighting hitting my lips. Alright, you ready for this lip gloss color? You ready? You ready? I'm ready. Boom. It is this dark, beautiful gray color. Gray. Taupe.
think when I first got this in the mail yesterday, the kids were like, I don't think the color's going to look good on you. I'm like, gee, thanks, you guys. Boom. A little bit more. A little bit more. Ooh, another color. Lip liner color would have been pompous. Oh, should have went with that one. It is a little bit dark, but there you guys go. Boom. TCU fans, here is your football look. What y'all think? These gray lips are going to grow on me. Mm. This is fall for sure. Oh, yes. This would have been awesome to go with pompous lip liner. But it goes with any. It goes with pompous lip liner, patty lip liner. It still looks fabulous. All right, you guys. I'm headed out to deliver a meal. This is for you guys. Go Horn Frogs. If you are a Horn Frog fan, go TCU. They've been doing great this year. All right, you guys. Adios. Bye.